Alrighty, what is going on guys? There's a lot that's been happening this week and with the front end actually being reconstructed. So with the front bumper, I mentioned this a lot in the past videos, but there were a lot of issues with like the paint chips, uh, bad touch up paint, and actually the bottom of the bumper was actually cracked. So what I decided to do is actually redo the front bumper get a brand new OEM one actually, the same exact style of bumper, but pretty much just a fresh paint, fresh look, uh, no dent scratches or whatever, given it is a show car. So I'm trying to make it as pristine as possible. But I have the old front bumper with me right now. I just wanna show you guys what is actually being done. And with the new bumper, there's actually more things that are happening to that in terms of work related. So let me just explain what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so this is the old front bumper, uh, OEM style, but I obviously did some modifications to it. So with this being the fog light, or I guess the air ducts, brake air ducts, um, being carbon fiber there by APR, I'm still keeping that. I redid the rocket bunny lights on the new bumper, meaning I re-drilled or I drilled it on the new bumper, but it's actually straight this time. So what I mean by that is, if you guys can see how these two lines line up, of the bumper body line, you can see how these dots are kind of like, they're sort of shifting to the left, and this one almost looks like it's like closer to this line. So I kind of redid it on the new bumper. I, already, I carefully measured it this time. Unlike this one, I kind of just rushed it. It was completely a mistake. But uh, I took some measurements and it's actually straight for once on the new bumper. Same thing with the other side. Things that are still going to be the same, obviously this thing, uh, the front canards as well. That's going to go on the new bumper, the carbon fiber side vents. And it's actually funny how that's being held up right now. I'll show you guys in a bit. But that's being held by uh, like paper clips. So 3M tape and paper clips right there if you guys can see it super ghetto but it ended up working out at the time but there is a paper clip and then 3m tape like three strips of it over there the only reason why i had to do that is because old side vents the oem ones there were actual clips over here like underneath it to where it would perfectly snap onto the front bumper now given this is an aftermarket side vent it didn't really work out that way, it didn't really snap on properly, so therefore I had to do uh, some 3M tape and clipped it with a paper clip. <laughs> like I said, ghetto setup, but uh, it worked out and it's pretty solid on there, it is not coming off. So moving on to the lip, I'm trying to see if I can salvage this lip. This is a CS style lip, I did a video on this before in terms of insulation. It actually blew up on Google and YouTube, but trying to see if this will line up, if this part of the lip, which has been cut according to the flare fitment and bumper tire fitment, if this will line up to the new bumper. Now, the reason why this was cut is because when you're turning the tire left or right, this would hit, the tire would hit the bumper. So that's why this part of the bumper had to be cut, that way it'll clear it. And then that's also for uh, the flare fitment. That's why this is here. This is the part of the silicone. So luckily with the new setup, I don't have to do that anymore. It's pretty much the flare is cut. I'm sure you guys saw a lot of uh, Subarus do that where they don't have that full flare just going down toward the bumper anymore. They cut it off right where the edge of the fender and bumper meet. So I will show you guys that later the car is actually at uh, pristine parts right now. I have to go pick it up later But yeah, no more flare going all the way down. No more hardware having to be over there for the rivet nuts Also for the splitter, I have to see I guess it's not too much of a big deal But I also just want to see where this End plate of the splitter lines up with a new bumper So just trying to show you guys all that's been going on right now and for this week actually the front grill I'm able to save it it's just screws in the back actually that I can just pop off and pop onto the new bumper. Uh, somewhere underneath here, uh, I think that's what it is right here. That's part of the screws for the grill. 
and then just along the other side of the grill. But yeah guys, I know you guys were asking what setup of bumper do I have, if it's even an aftermarket bumper or what I do with the original bumper to make it look like how it is now. So it's just simple stuff, a lot of aero stuff, the brake duct carbon fiber by APR, the rocket bunny lights. The grill is actually wrapped uh, gloss black. Originally it's like a gray, matte gray, like original paint from the grill. I really like the style of this bumper. That's kind of why I went with the original one again. One, it's cheaper to, it actually looks good. And if you just add more stuff to like how I did right now with all that, it actually looks pretty good in my opinion. So today it's Wednesday, uh, tomorrow, I'm actually gonna send off the bumper to paint right away. And right now I'm gonna see if I can just take off all this uh, splitter, lip, canards and all that good stuff. And uh, when I get the car back tonight, I'm gonna mock up my lip right now to the front bumper, to the new front bumper, to see pretty much where the end of that uh, end plates, if they line up to the end of the bumper. So I'll obviously vlog that once I get the car tonight, but I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this bumper and I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, so the bumper is parted out. Sorry, I look like absolute crap. But I finally have all the goods on the table. All I need to do is really just put them onto the new bumper and toss my old bumper. So there it is. Everything's taken out. Rocket bunny lights, brake duct, side vents, uh, lip splitter, tow hook cap. And it's super rainy outside. That's actually crazy. I don't even want to dare to open that door right now. But. It like you guys could see what I mean. It's cracked. It's destroyed. This whole part is just nasty. Like that's just scuffed, which is whatever. But especially this, and especially all up here. So you guys can definitely see what I'm talking about. Where I definitely needed a new bumper. And then if you look closely to all the imperfections on the surface of the bumper, just all these little things everywhere literally just everywhere on the face of the bumper so yes i did you know while i had this bumper it caused more um road rashes but when i bought this car to begin with it already kind of came with all that and it was already cracked from here and there it's ready for the garbage and these are ready for the new bumper but right now i'm actually gonna wait for my friend to come so i can go and pick up my car and then from there you guys could see the new bumper. It is cut a little differently and the car itself, the flares are a little bit different. And I don't need to use silicone on the flare to the front bumper anymore guys because it's not there and it's easier now to remove the front bumper with the SDI quick releases. So it'll be pretty cool. My only issue that I'm worried about is when I put on the lip and splitter again, the splitter is actually pretty heavy from Aeroflow Dynamics. For those of you who are running that lip or splitter, I should say, you guys know what I'm talking about. So I just really hope that it does not like sag the bumper more, especially with uh, the splitter rods because it stiffens the bumper. It doesn't really flex it. So. Just hoping it doesn't really sag that gap between the fender and the front bumper. It, it, I, I just hope it doesn't like, you know, widen up again. But we will see. I'm um, gonna go right now and get the car and I'll continue it when I'm back, guys. Alrighty, guys, this is the next morning. Uh, so I finally have the car back in my possession. <clears throat> I took off the front bumper right now. So it's actually sitting outside because I had to mock up the lip to the front bumper I was mentioning earlier in the video, deciding whether I want to bring the lip to the paint shop in actually about like a few hours. So bit of a time crunch. I didn't have time to um, mock the splitter as well because that's not as important. That's not getting painted. What's getting painted is the bumper and lip. So just to show you guys real quick what my flare setup is. So this is it guys. I have the STI quick release brackets. During installation, uh, the spring and this little like top hat kind of came off, but I realized it's not really relevant when you put the one of these buttons into that. It actually doesn't really affect anything. It's not like it can't open or not open. So that was, I mean, it was unfortunate, but 
it worked out because it still works. But this is what I mean guys with the flares. So it's cut off. Maybe you guys seen that on like WX hatches or sedan where they're running a flare setup, but they cut off right at that point just because it makes life so much easier instead of having this piece all the way down and having to hinder with a front bumper when you're trying to take it off. So this bracket, actually behind it, it's kind of bent in. The reason why is just because I'm re I'm running such a meaty setup in terms of tire size, 265.40, to where when I try to turn, it would have hit it. So uh, my friend at Pristine Parts, he had to kind of like be creative and like bend it to where if I'm turning right or left, it'll just it'll just pass that bracket. So that's pretty much what I get for running 265.40. I still really like the setup. I really like the MIDI setup, no regrets there. It just, it's a bit of a pain in process just to modify around it, just to work with this tire setup. But I'm more for that look anyways, instead of the super low profile tires. But yeah, guys, that's what it looks like with the flares. That's it for now, guys. I just want to update you guys on what's going on with the car. Right now, I'm going to send it to uh, paint right now for the bumper and the lip. And then from there, I think it'll be ready next week to today. It actually is Thursday right now. So yeah, I'm expecting around maybe also Thursday or Friday of next week. It'll be done. I'll catch you guys later and I'll keep you guys updated as always. See ya.